Hey there everyone, so um, I just had a uh, self-realization there for a second, um, as you probably saw from the title of the video, pertaining to consoles, or you know, gaming hardware that I have bought, not gaming hardware, but yeah, consoles, that I have bought retail. And I think I've only purchased two consoles retail. So we're just going to go ahead over my little console history. Originally, my first console was a Super Nintendo, not this one. Um, we had bought that from a family friend. It was a big old bundle of stuff, uh, controllers, uh, cords, Super Nintendo, a bunch of games, um, all for $100, so not retail. Then after that, my dad had entered a sweepstakes to win a Sony PlayStation from... Um, something, I don't know, some kind of football thing because whenever we had got it, it came with a, a demo disc and a copy of NFL Extreme, so uh, obviously if we want it, not retail. Then down the road, um, my mom ended up getting me a Nintendo 64. Uh, she bought that at a pawn shop for about 60 or 70 bucks, not retail. Then I went out and bought a Nintendo at a garage sale um, with a couple of games, all the hookups, some controllers, for 10 bucks. Garage sale, obviously not retail. Then, after that, um, all of my consoles got broken. My, my mom flipped out and broke all my consoles. I mentioned it in another video. Maybe you can go find it. Excuse me. Um, and so I didn't have any consoles anymore, and I became a PC gamer for like a year or two. And then, um, then my mom ended up buying me a PS1, which I don't have right now. I don't really have any of these consoles right now, because <laughs> they're all elsewhere. Um, but she ended up buying me a PS1, uh, not a PlayStation, a PS1, retail, $50. So, Sony has gotten money from us, retail. Then, um... I went back out and I bought a Nintendo 64 for $25 at a pawn, at a at a game store, so that wasn't retail. Then I went out and I also found no. Then what happened was my sister had a a boyfriend that she had bought him a PS. She bought him a PS2. Um, a couple years later, or whatever, they ended up breaking up and she was going to take the PS2 back and she did and then after that she came back like a week later or so and she decided she was going to give it back to him because she really didn't know what to do with it or didn't really want it she didn't want it herself so she went to give it back to him and um, turns out that his mother had bought him one so she didn't know what to do with this PS2 and he just said you know give it to your little brother or whatever and she said uh, maybe, I don't know, probably not. Turns out, she ends up giving me the PS2, so she bought the PS2 retail, but I didn't, or my mom didn't, or whatever, so I don't know if that counts, you guys decide. So I had that PS2. Then, after that, um, I had bought a GameCube from uh, a friend of mine at school. Uh, GameCube, bunch of games, bunch of controllers, hookups, whatever. GameCube worked pretty well, except for a couple, uh, the vibration in the port, in the first port, doesn't work. So, um, that was $100, but obviously not retail. Then, um, I bought a, I bought an Xbox, my mom bought me an Xbox 360, um, the day after Halo 3 came out, which I'm not proud of, by the way. Um, so, then we did pay retail for an Xbox 360. It was an Elite, so that was about 400 bucks or whatever, 450. I don't know. Then after that, um, or maybe before, can't quite remember. I think it was around the same time. My teacher, um, my math teacher at my school, had given me this Super Nintendo right here. And how this went down was uh, we were all hanging around hanging out around school at this um, one summer camp they were hosting and we got to talking about video games and his 
his all-time favorite game is um, probably either the first Final Fantasy or Link to the Past. And he was talking about a Link to the Past, and I was saying, you know, I have a Link to the Past because I bought a Link to the Past a long time ago for 16 bucks at a game store, the same one I bought the Nintendo 64 at. And um, I told him, you know, I can't play it, I don't have a Super Nintendo. And he was like, go find a Super Nintendo, go find a Super Nintendo. So he had us go online and, like, get a Super Nintendo, try and find a Super Nintendo online. Um, and we didn't end up finding one that we wanted to pay for. And he ended up get, buying one from one of his friends. Then the deal was, if I... If he went and bought the Super Nintendo, and I lent him Link to the Past, when he beat Link to the Past, he would give me the Super Nintendo and my game back. Which means, essentially, I just get a Super Nintendo for borrowing a game that I couldn't play in the first... For lending out a game that I couldn't play in the first place. Which, uh, is probably the best deal you can get any freaking wear, apart from getting stuff for free. So, I ended up getting the Super Nintendo from him. And then, um... Uh, early 2008... I bought a Dreamcast. That one right there for thirty-five dollars at a game store. Obviously not retail, being Dreamcast in two thousand eight. So Sega didn't get my money there. And then a Sega Saturn was given to me by a friend in about September of that year, two thousand eight, last year. So that was a free Saturn. And then um, just last week I bought the Atari 2600 at a garage sale for 10 bucks. You guys saw the video, hopefully. If not, go check that crap out. And it came with that Super Nintendo right there. So, as you can see, I haven't really paid retail for anything. I bought a retail PS1, which was like 50 bucks, and then a Xbox 360, which isn't there right now, but that's not my Xbox, by the way. So, yeah, I really haven't paid much as far as retail hardware goes. I mean, I buy games. Not all the games are retail, though, but... Yeah. So... I haven't paid the software... I haven't paid the hardware companies much. Is that a bad thing? So tell me, do you guys buy consoles retail? Because, uh... Apparently I don't. Yeah... Anyway, though, guys, just wanted to let y'all know what was going on. Um, if you haven't seen the other videos, go check those out. There should be two of them. One and one, part one, part two. So go ahead and check those out, guys. Other than that, I will catch y'all later. Also, go and check out the um, the new Dreamcast Games video of uh, four new Dreamcast games I picked up at Half Price Books. Other than that, I will catch you guys later. Pieces. Well.